So, you want to be a digital nomad, eh? Well, great. There's lots of things that you can do as a digital nomad, travel the world. Technology really makes it all possible. And it's something that couldn't have been done 20, 30 years ago. And there's no doubting that the lifestyle can be appealing. All you need is a laptop and your toothbrush and you're good to go. But just like everything in life, there are pros and cons to wandering the world. Let's take a look at the pros. Well, I suppose the biggest pro is the freedom. You can go where you want, when you want. And you can work from anywhere. As long as you've got Wi-Fi, you're fine. And you can spend time with anyone you wish. And you know, it's awesome to visit countries and stay longer than just a vacation. And you can do lots of in-depth travel and you can visit out-of-the-way places and you can really experience what life is like in another country and that can really expand your mind. And you can set your own work agenda. When you're a digital nomad, you can work when you like from wherever you like. You don't have to put up with a bullying boss or moaning co-workers. As long as you've got Wi-Fi, you're good to go. And there's no more commuting. You know, all the travel you're doing now is for pleasure and not a chore. And, of course, you learn to be less materialistic because everything you need fits into your rucksack. You get to visit lots of new, different and exciting places. And these are places that most people only dream about. And every day is different. You know, there's no routine. You're not tied to a desk or a cubicle in an office. Every day is different. Everywhere is new and exciting because you're seeing things for the first time. And of course, your horizons expand and you get a greater outlook on the world because you become exposed to things that other people in your town, in your family, your friends, well, they just simply don't know about because they've never experienced it. So you become a much wiser person as a result. And you get increased self-awareness and self-development. Because you have to adapt to different environments and people, you're constantly growing and evolving as a person. And challenging yourself to live without the comforts of a home base, a regular paycheck and familiar people and surroundings opens up a greater awareness of self because your backdrops and your relationships keep changing so you become a much stronger person emotionally. And you learn new skills and you can take what you've learned on the road and apply it to your daily life when or if you get settled again. You know, lots of people stay on the road all the time. And sometimes you find that they do things better in other countries than they do in the country that you're from. So you can take this knowledge and you can apply it to your life when you get back home and you can enrich your own life and those of others around you through that experience. You also get to meet lots of new people, experience different cultures, learn different languages, eat different food, and generally do stuff that you would never have dreamt of doing before. But of course, there are some cons to this sort of lifestyle. There is a downside to it all. And the biggest one is loneliness. You know, being totally self-reliant can be tough. Human beings are social animals and not having anyone else to talk to, to be supportive, someone you can trust or you can bounce ideas off of, can take its toll after a while. And of course, feeling homesick is another thing that happens when you're away a lot. You miss the familiar after a while and you're separated from family and friends and from your support network. And of course, you may worry about people back home, you know, particularly if you've got sick or elderly relatives, you know, people might be in the hospital and you're told they're in hospital and you worry about them and so on. So that can be a big downside if your heart is on one side of the world, but your body is on the other, if you get what I mean. And of course, there's going to be things going on back home that you're not a part of, you know, things like birthdays, 
weddings, anniversaries, and of course there are other would-be shared experiences that you're going to be missing out on. Lots of things that your friends and family are doing, but you're not included, and there'll be memories that they have, which are perhaps quite important to them, that you won't be a part of, and you might feel a bit left out of the whole proceedings. And all this can lead to stress, anxiety, and depression, and that is very common amongst people who are digital nomads. And of course, the world can be a scary place, especially when you're off the beaten track. And you never quite know who you can trust or where you'll be 100% safe. Of course, you can be at the mercy of events, things like bad weather, wars, strikes, banks freezing your account, or even not having Wi-Fi that works can wreck your plans. So... Being a digital nomad can be a fantastic lifestyle. But you need to think long and hard before embarking on it and make certain it's for you. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.